Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are trying to explain about ship's main engine. This is a container vessel which is having a capacity of 5500 TU and it's a 2003 built vessel. You are seeing that ship's main engine and it's a top view and this platform is also called as cylinder head platform. You can see the main engine size and it's a 9 cylinder engine. The engine make is MAN BMW diesel engines and its model is 9K90 MCC engine. This is a 9 cylinder engine and there are 9 units. You can see uh, this is one unit. Now you can see the cylinder head and its exhaust valve, fuel pumps etc. Now we are seeing the engine from its cylinder head platform and now you are seeing the turbocharger. This engine have 3 turbocharger. You can see uh, the turbocharger size. This is the uh, center one and in the front also we have one more turbocharger. Total there are th 3 turbochargers in this engine. The turbochargers are water cooled turbochargers and uh, it is constant pressure type turbocharger. You can see the turbocharger sides. This is turbine side and uh, you can see the compressor side also. So uh, coming back, this is our under turbocharger, which is in the forward of the engine. Totally there are three turbochargers present in this particular engine. Now we are moving to the next platform of our engine. This is the uh, middle platform or under piston area. You can see the round doors over there that is called under piston doors. And there will be uh, nine under piston doors uh, as this engine is having nine units. You can see a wheel over there. This is used for emergency maneuvering. When your engine is not operational from navigational bridge or any other remote areas such as ECR, you can start and control the engine RPM using this emergency maneuvering wheel. So this is the emergency maneuvering station. Apart from here, we have one more platform. Uh, this is the engine floor or engine room bottom platform. Here you can see the doors which are marked 1, 2, 3, etc. These are uh, crankcase doors which are commonly used for any other work or inside the main engine etc. So you can see the engine size. It is having almost 3 and three or 4 floors. Uh, it's, uh, it is not possible to uh, visualize the whole engine in a one frame. So I will try to show you how big the ship's main engine is. You can see the crankcase doors over there. Now we are moving uh, to the other side of the engine. I will try to show you the engine's uh, propeller shaft also. Here you can see the flywheel cover, turning gear etc. And uh, this is how the main engine looks like from side. This is the bottom end of the uh, main engine and which is fixed to the ship's hull. You can see the uh, frame, engine frames and we are standing one floor above from the engine floor. You can see various pipelines over there. These are used for main engine leak off lines and uh, other fuel lines etc. Now you are seeing a view of the transmission shaft. Uh, this shaft, this is the main transmission shaft which is connected to the uh, ship's propeller which is used for the movement of the ships. You can see the ship's propeller here and uh, this is the ship's propeller and this is the transmission unit. You can see uh, this yellow colored one that is called intermediate bearing uh, which is used for supporting the transmission unit. You can see the uh, engine while it is running. Now the engine is running at uh, its full RPM and you can see the transmission unit is rotating and this unit is connected to the propeller and when the propeller rotates the ship will move for forward. This is how the uh, engine looks like. While coming to the specification of this engine this is a MAN BMW diesel engine and its model is 9K90 MCC engine and it's a two-stroke marine diesel engine. This engine is a single acting direct reversible crosser type marine diesel engine with constant pressure turbocharger. There are nine cylinders and the cylinder bore is 900 mm and the stroke length is 2300 millimeters and the engine will produce a maximum output of 55,890 bhp at 104 rpm. 
now this is uh, engine control room from where we can start the ship's main engine these are the starting levers which is used for starting the engine the black color one is telegraph and other one is starting lever these are various controls and uh, the parameters and alarm systems of ship's main engine from the control room we can uh, control the ship's main engine and also from the navigational bridge we will get all the parameters from the engine control room and uh, this helps to monitor the engine in a good condition thank you for watching the video please do like subscribe and share our videos thank you